Hey guys, Kev Collects here, and it's time for another awesome, awesome doll review. And today, I'm going to be doing an awesome doll review on the first of the Series 3 tweens, at least that I have in my collection. And it is going to be Emma Emo, the kind of scene queen. Um, yeah, funny thing is, I think Emma Emo is kind of like a funny name for her because I'm not really getting emo from her i'm getting more so like scene kid which i mean like, i guess like emo is kind of like derived from that kind of like genre um or that kind of like style and everything but um i don't really know exactly what i would cons what i would call her scene style i know it's something and everything honestly she gives me a type of like girl that goes like rawr you know what i mean and like cringe but like still i think the doll is really cute though so i can look past that but um, yeah, so as you can see, she's looking just adorable. I love the artwork. Oh my god, like honestly, she might have my favorite out of all of them with the artwork. Um, honestly, Chloe Pepper is definitely my favorite, and I think her artwork does look amazing too. Actually, when we turn it over, we can kind of see, um, what everyone's artwork looks like. Um, but yeah, super excited for this series. I love every single one of them. Um, I think they all have something really kind of cool about them. I think her style is really awesome. I think her everything is just amazing. I love the whole kind of like Spice Girl reference, all the jazz. Honestly, Marilyn Monroe is always a fave. So any doll that has look like her, awesome. And then Naya or Nia, um, don't exactly how we're going to pronounce that, but um, let's say Nia. So I guess Nia... I really do like her style. I know, like, a lot of people are skeptical on the kind of, like, clothing outfits and the pieces. But, like, individually, I think the pieces look good. And I think with a little kind of, like, touch-up here and there, her outfit really will be a stunner. So, I'm very excited for that doll. Um, all right. But as you can see, we have splatters, I think that is. Yes, on the side. All right. And then on the front, like I said, we have her artwork. We have the open window display with Emma Emo displayed right there. Um, it says LOL Surprise Tweens. All right, 15 surprises. Emma Emo. Or, oh, Emma Emo. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. All right. Um, and yeah. All right. So time. Oh, I got it on Amazon. Just letting you guys know. I know um, they are on Amazon now, but a lot of them are pretty much like just kind of like not back ordered, but they're not really getting released till like mid July to like end and a lot of people well not a lot of people but some people are finding them actually in Target stores um now so they should be hitting stores soon most likely this weekend um you know July 1st I think was the initial date for them so yes yeah, so keep an eye out everybody all right but enough of my chit chat let's open this girl up okay okay so first impressions of Emmy Emo She's pretty cool. So, as we usually start, right from behind and everything with her really awesome, colorful hair. And it is very, very soft, which is awesome. I guess they're kind of like holding back on the, the gel and everything, which is really good. Because, you know, we don't like crispy, crispy shits on our dolls. Um, But, yes. Alright. One, two. Boop. Amazing. Very cute love 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 and it's funny that i was just talking about how i don't like crispy shit and literally her bangs are like <laughs> so whatever but um yeah so the only thing that really is kind of like heavily glued is the hair in the front and honestly i'm okay with that because i like the way the bangs look i like how they look just very kind of just uh just very accurate to i guess the style they're going for with her and then the back like i said it's just very soft and honestly i think that works just as well it's very very nice um all right, and there's like nice kind of like waved curl to it. So that's like really pretty. All right, so her hair is two tones. You have like kind of like a tealish blue on top. And then you have more of this kind of, I don't know what kind of blue you would say. It almost has like a periwinkle tone, but it's like a dark, deep periwinkle. It's like a periwinkle indigo type of like color. Um, So that's very pretty. All right, and then the front, you have a little bit of the teal bangs. And then you have like two nice pink pieces as well very cute okay when you lift um her hair over you can get a good look at her makeup so her makeup is very nice like as you know her sister is splatters so splatters is all paint splattered up and this doll is no different all right so her makeup is kind of reminiscent of a kind of splatter effect so you got little kind of speckles on the sides um which is pretty cute she has nice blue eyeshadow 
She has like some uh, makeup dripping underneath her really cool like spiky looking bottom eyelashes. I love that. Um, I love the brown eyes. You know, we love our brown eye girls. And the nose, I love the nose. She has a little bit of makeup on it. Um, I think that looks really cute. Very, very cool. All right, the little kind of pink to the nose is adorable. And then she has these really nice pink lips, right? With a little like nice little pursed look. And honestly, everything looks good. Like she doesn't look like she has any kind of paint issues. I know it's series two for me. I was just finding a lot that had paint issues at store. Like it was like really annoying. And then now they're kind of getting a little better. Um, so that's good, right? And then as you can see, it's also a little kind of like a little line in her eyebrow there, which is pretty awesome as well. All right, working our way down now. So like I said, her outfit is very colorful. She's more of that colorful kind of scene style. Okay, so when it comes to her top, her top is this really nice teal and yellow um, little graphic tee. Uh, the, it says LOL, LOL, and has a little yellow bunny. So that's pretty nice. Up top on the rim of the collar, it is all kind of splattered and dripping. Very nice. Uh, she also has two little straps. So I guess the shirt's more supposed to be like that off the shoulder type of like fit. But it doesn't really work that way. So honestly, I'm okay with that. I still think it looks really cool with the little straps there anyways. So um, it still looks very nice. All right. And then on either arm, you can see she has a little kind of mesh netting sleeve. So one's rainbow-fied and one is black and pink striped. All right. This hand, her um, right hand, is has pink nail polish, all right? And then the other one has yellow, so that's really cool. All right, we love a girl that likes to mix and match her colors when it comes to nails, all right? Then she has this cool kind of mesh tutu dress uh, with a decaled studded belt kind of like printed on the top rimming that is not a separate piece that is just connected to the skirt. I'm not a fan of tutu dresses, but this one does look actually really nice. Um, it's not as poofy. It does go more down and, you know, it's it's interesting. I do like that. I do like that a lot. Um, but yeah, and then when we go further down, she's wearing a pair of mesh tights, all right, that are connected to two little socks that kind of, that actually do go with the uh, mesh sleeves. So, but they're not a mesh fa uh, fabric. They're more of like a cotton, all right? So that looks pretty cool. And then going down a little further, we got these cool Converse like boots, all right? Pink laces on one, blue on the other, all right? On the side, just a whole kind of like dripping effect, lining the whole, uh, lining like the top of the, sh uh, the sole, all right? So that's pretty cool. Love that, love a nice wedge shoe too, all right? So, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the main outfit, okay? Now, let me put her down so we can actually go over the accessories that are in the box. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, so this is what her box looks like. So on the one side where she was a little platform area, it's black and white striped with little pink broken hearts that are kind of dripping. So really cool, really goes with the vibe that she has. Then on the other side, you get to see a little bit of her room kind of detail or uh, kind of set up. You know what, actually? Because I think this is how it's supposed to be shown. Because I remember when they did the open display boxes, they kind of did have, change, did have to change the inside of the box around, which, you know, a lot of us were not a huge fan of that because literally these dolls, their display is one of the fun things about them, especially because like that's how they were initially um, advertised, you know, like with a working display area. So or a functional uh, display kind of setup. I don't know where the tape is for that. So technically this is perforated right here or perforated, but if you want, you can actually open the side. And now what they're doing, I think to save plastic on plastic and everything, which I really like, is that all the stuff is kind of loosely in there except the magazine and stuff. So we have one, two, three bags, all right? And then some other little accessories as well. So, let me see. I'm gonna actually have to just like straight up open it, I think. Oh wait, no. Like you can see here, there's a whole kind of scene, all right, with all her kind of cool stuff in her room. That is the trippiest wallpaper I've ever seen, but I love it so much. I really wanna do wallpaper like that. I think that's so cool. The rainbow checkered effect would just be like, balls to the wall, just like out there. And I love that. So fun, so funky. Um, and you know, that's what these LOMGs are all about. All right, she's a Supersonics fan. It seems like it's the only like music group that's out there. Come on, LOL, let's get another music group out there. 
Come on. We're seeing supersonic stuff everywhere. Um, still love them, though. All right, you have some little decals over there. Some cool little emojis. A star. A little leopard print. It's cool neon heart sign, which I love. Her bag, which is cool. I guess she collects little tiny toys. Go, girl. She has some CDs over there. Probably from uh, Chloe Pepper. Because Chloe Pepper actually is a big CD person. Um... Found that found out that in the LJ Plays review for Chloe Pepper, which, which is out now. Go check it out, guys. Um, you know, he was able to get a uh, one of them uh, pretty fast and everything. Found out his target, and I'm obsessed with her, and I can't wait to find her next. All right. Um, and then right there, she has a cool little chair with a little iPod. Oh, my gosh. She has an iPod video. Oh, these girls are all about the early 2000s. I'm about that. All right, a little teddy bear, nail polish, some stuff on the floor, shoes, got a bunch of stuff. Real cool, really cool. All right. Then, this is what I was trying to show you guys before. So this is what it looks like behind. Right, so we have a little kind of notebook magazine here, which I always love these. I always love to see like a little bit about them. All right. Okay. And then we also have the stand, a little comb, and then we have an awesome little hair extension piece which is just hanging in there so that is very exciting that is pretty cool it's like striped hair like printed on striped hair little bow with a silver stud love that very much love that. outside of the notebook says emma emo and has little hearts all over open it up it says emma emo and then it says this or that so adorably awkward or too cool for school she chose adorably awkward Music venue or nail salon, she chose music venue. And then dots or stripes, and she chose stripes. Makes a lot of sense. Girls have stripes. She has stripes all over the place. So that is pretty, pretty cool. All right. So now we have the three little baggies here. We're going to open this one up first. Okay, that's what it looks like. All right, this must be the accessory bags wrapped in tissue paper. Okay, little hearts on it. All right, in the accessory bag, we have some clips. So the first one is going to be a little kind of drip blue clip, all right? A clip with a little drip. What's up? Right, and then we got a clip with two hearts. Very cute as well, all right? And that is it for the accessories in that one. So I'm hoping that I'm thinking the necklace might come in a different one because I know she comes with a necklace as well um, and earrings. So, you know, hopefully that stuff's not missing, right? All right, next bag we're going to go over is this one. This is a kind of cool little squiggly line one. All right. Okay, so this one also has a little tissue paper set up in there. All right. I right, open this one up. We have cute little drip necklace all right so this is pretty cool i love that the whole drip effect that she has going on is really cool right so very 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 cute and then the other um thing she comes with in here are two earrings love these so much so trippy so cool we have a pink and black and then a blue and black stripe curly kind of like beetlejuice looking tendril kind of earring i absolutely love that all right um they're part translucent too which is pretty cool so really excited to put those on her i'm gonna put those off the side as well and now off to the final bag looks like this okay and inside of there is her little purse oh this is so cute all right so the bag is just like a, it's kind of like a, a purse with a bunch of details on it. It looks like bunnies and flowers, if they were donuts. So bunnies and flowers or bunny and flowers, right? There's a little kind of like faux chain type of look there, right? There's some studs on the side, on the bottom, all that. And then you flip it over and it's the same kind of pattern, just in uh, black and just like more of a stencil outline. So, and I see that a lot with a lot of the doll stuff. So it's like the only one to put color on one side. Really interesting. Um, but yes, so those are all her accessories. Okay. 
Now, let me pause the video and I will get all the stuff on her and we'll see what this doll looks like all dolled up and um, in her final look. All right, all right. So I have Miss uh, Emma Emo all dressed up in her final outfit and she looks absolutely adorable. Love this, love this, love this. Um, so yeah, so you can see I have that little extra hair piece in, which honestly I tried to like just match it with like the side uh, bangs with the blue and everything. And you know, it. I think that's what it showed in the picture. So I'm hoping that's like correct, but it does look pretty cool. I'll be honest, I thought it looked kind of stupid at first, but now it's kind of like growing on me. And in person, it definitely is like coming across much, much better, much nicer and everything together. Um, but yeah, very awesome there. And right, you can see there are also little clips in her hair. She has a little orange heart one and then the blue slimish one. So that looks pretty fun. The necklace, right? A good choker moment is always awesome. Her cool earrings. So cool there. Love that. Right? The purse and everything. So yeah, she's really, really cool. Um, It's cool because like... I don't know, she just comes with a lot of accessories and I think that's very fun, you know, that really kind of gave her that all out extra type of vibe. So it's very cool. Um, you know, one thing that I wish she came with was like a jacket or something. I don't know, or there's some kind of like, maybe like even like a vest or whatever, like a sleeveless vest. That would've been cool. Just like something a little extra in terms of a top. Um, but other than that, she looks awesome. So yeah, and I just want to check Yes, okay. So, uh, one of y'all out there actually, ooh, ah! right? Sorry about that, my whole camera setup fell. Um, but yeah, so, um, my God, I forgot what I was saying. But anyways, I do love this doll. I think she looks really awesome. And what I was trying to show you guys was on the bottom of the shoe, if you can see his little splat there, a um, little splatter kind of like look, uh, someone, um, in one of my po my previous videos for like series two pointed out the bottom of their shoes each have a special design that kind of is like their little signature little icon kind of thing so i thought that was really cool um so yeah very very fun that we get to see something like that it's always a little kind of fun little it's a little detail that you know all right um but yeah she's like the splatter queen so very awesome oh that's what happened I knew I heard two things fall, and honestly, it was one of her clips fell. But you know what? I don't know where it went. I'm fine with it. The heart one looks cute. Honestly, the other one makes me a little too much, so maybe it happened for a reason. All right? So, anywho, that's going to be it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, definitely go get her. You know, she's popping up in and out on Amazon. Um, pretty much right now, I think she's set for, like, the end of July, but it'll change, definitely. Um, but... Yes, and then stores, I think are going to be the like, beginning of July, like July 1st, and some targets are getting them right now. So go check that out. Um, you know, if you want to, subscribe. If anything, big thumbs up. You can leave a comment. I love reading your comments. And, of course, you can always share it. Why not, right? And if you want to, check out my Instagram. That is nerdyboy95, where I share stuff and make just, I don't know, I put stuff on. Yeah. So check it out. All right. Um, anywho, I'll see you guys next time on Kev Collects. Peace.